All right, I'm back again. KL with the Homology Group at Coldwell Banker Prime Properties. Today, I wanted to talk about the top 10 things that you can do for spring cleanup to add value to your home. Now, yeah, I know we can wait until that white stuff melts. Um, and hopefully that'll be soon. So it's been beautiful weather out last couple of days. It's definitely taken some snow with it. So that's a good thing. But again, when we're at the point with spring cleanup, now that as of uh, what Monday it was officially spring, so Mother Nature just needs to be told that, these are the things that you can do to actually add value to your home. The first one is, is pick up. So unfortunately, the fall and the winter has left a lot of debris on our yards and in our driveways and on our patios and our porches. So clean them up, the leaves and everything. Get that, that all clean. Old trees, trees that have fallen down, sticks, branches, get those all up and out of the way so you have a nice, clean and crisp looking yawn. Um, yawn. Lawn. <laughs> um, power wash. So again, obviously in better weather, we're power wash the your house to get rid of the debris that's um, been there, the moss that's maybe has grown and just the dirt and grime that's there. So we're going to power wash. Now when you power wash, please be careful. Make sure that the water is not getting up underneath your siding or that siding hasn't come loose. So do not spray in areas where there's no siding. Um, definitely be careful of that for power wash, okay? And uh, number three is your driveway. So are there cracks? Are there things that need to be repaired in your driveway from the winter that we've had? Do you see some fine line cracks, seals? Do stuff like that. Take care of those. Number four is your walkways or your borders. So as you're walking up to your home, how does it look? Is it uneven? Does it need to be adjusted? Does it need to be cleaned out? Um, spruce that up. It's going to give a fresh, great first impression. Number five is windows. Okay, so windows is, first of all, cleaning the inside and the outside. The outside, if you do vinegar with a little bit of um, detergent and make sure you dilute that, use that as your outside um, window wash. Inside, it's just the detergent diluted. And you can do that, obviously, you can use Windex or, or something cleaner like that. But if you wanna go less expensive and still have a great look, so cleaning inside and out. Outside trim, make sure that you, if there's anything peeling, that you take care of that. So first impression is super important. And the first impression is your outside of your home. So windows, if you're going to paint them or if they need to be painted, your windows should be a very neutral pale color. So white, creams, light blue, light green, and I'm talking pale, pale, okay? <laughs> um, that should be your window color, your window trim. So we definitely want to take care of those windows, which is what makes the house smile. Um, number six is your door. Now, opposite from windows, your door should be the bold entrance, right? So your doors, you can definitely either replace, depending on if they need it or not, or paint it. If you're going to paint it, this is where you're going to go bold, okay? So you can do uh, bold, deep blues, deep greens, or you can go with the basic black or you can match the color scheme of what's going on with the rest of your home. But this is the chance that if you want that bold splash, that would be on your door. With your door, also check the handles. Sometimes changing out the handle or the doorknobs is gonna make a difference. And again, a much higher end look to it is gonna give that first appearance feeling as you walk into your home. Um, exterior light. So, over the door, over the garage areas. You can either replace them or for a really quick inexpensive fix, just take them down and spray paint them, guys. Um, you know, if you have the golden fixtures right now, those are kind of on the way out or they've been out. Um, the stainless steel look or the, the, the chrome or the black are really the in colors for lighting fixtures. So those are what you want to use or buy the spray paint of. Number eight is fixing fences and gates. So are the gates working properly? Um, do they need to be painted? Do they just need to be adjusted? So just simple stuff with that. Oh, if you have a garden gate, make sure when the spring is ready that you buy the, the plants that actually grow up the gate, okay? They just look really pretty and definitely make a great first impression. Your lawn. 
So your lawn, we're talking about mowing, mulching, all that kind of stuff. So we want to talk about mulch. Um, the real popular color for mulch right now is the black browns because it looks like soil. So those are definitely ones if you're looking to get in and to sell to add value, those are the ones that I would say to go for or go towards. Um, you also, if you're cutting your, your yard and if again for sale, um, first cutting obviously if you leave the grass it's going to actually have more seeds to be better for it. But you want to cut on dry days and you want to get rid of all of your clippings so it makes a nice clean experience. Now when you actually mulch or seed um, your yard, you're actually during those times what you're going to do is you want to do those in moisture or when rain is going to come. So a little bit of difference there, just wanted to give you that little tip. Um, let's see, last but definitely not least is flowers. If you have a green thumb, some of the ones that I'm going to read them because I have that green thumb. <laughs> so some of the flowers that you might want to use are Marigold Poppies, um, Cosmos, Forget-Me-Nots, Primroses, and Pansies. Those are great annuals. Now again, make sure that when, as we are still having frosts and stuff, those are not probably ones that you want to put out there yet. Just hold off onto that until spring really comes here in upstate New York. In the meantime, though, flowers, for those that are, aren't green thumbed like me, yeah, I buy the pots. <laughs> okay, I buy the pots, the hanging plants. They're already done. Professionals grew them, and they look absolutely gorgeous. So those are, they add a feeling of warmth and home when somebody walks up your front walkway to your home. So if you want to add value to your home, these are 10 great tips that you can take away to add extra value to your home coming the springtime. I hope that you found lot of, lots of value in that. And as always, I'm here as your real estate resource. If you have any questions, no matter how big or how small, just give me a call, 518-339-5212. Have a great day, guys. Hope you're enjoying your week. Bye now.